With the press of a button, what once looked like a giant antenna. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. Came crashing down, and with it a piece of our country's history. The Bear Reactor Experiment Nevada, or Brent for short, was created to study the effects of our World War II nuclear bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan. They built a village, a replica of a Japanese village down below it, and there was a reactor in the elevator that they could raise and lower and study the effects of the radiation. Daryl McPherson, who's worked for the National Nuclear Security Agency for 30 years, says he watched the tower go up back in 1962, and today he watched it come down. This picture of me up on top of Bren Tower in uh, 1992. This tower is not small at all. Just to give you an idea, it is bigger than the Eiffel Tower, the Empire State Building, even the stratosphere. In fact, Bren Tower is more than 1,500 feet tall. Its height was determined by the altitude at which the little boy atomic bomb was detonated over Hiroshima. But Darwin Morgan with the Department of Energy says what once was critical for safety now poses many expensive safety risks. It's the safety of our people having to climb it to do all of the maintenance that's on it. And then also there's occasion where commercial aircraft, if they declare an emergency, will cut across this area of the site. And as 50 pounds of dynamite flatten the giant tower in the middle of the desert, Daryl McPherson says he's sad to see it go. A little sadness. But it went down, and that's fine, too. Life will go on. It's a piece of history. Yeah, it's a piece of Nevada history, a piece of United States history. The metal from the tower will be scrapped and sold. A piece of that tower will be placed in the Atomic Testing Museum on the UNLV campus. Marissa Mike, News 3.